Before I continue, here's a gentle reminder. Please remember to subscribe and click the notification button to get updates whenever I publish a new video. Years ago, I owned a digital marketing agency. A reputable online magazine asked if we could write an article for them. The idea was to write an article as a guest writer. I gave the green light and had my content writer create a few articles. We submitted it to the online magazine. They liked it and it was published. As a result, we got some backlinks from this. And the backlinks helped increase our website ranking to the first page of Google search results. This is an example of guest posting. It really works to increase your web pages search rankings. The first step that you need to do is to strategize. You need to have a clear plan on where you would like to do guest posting and which sites you would do guest postings on and what are the factors to look out for. For example, you might consider writing only for sites that are in your niche or industry. Like the case study above that I mentioned about my digital agency, I was all right to do guest posting for the online magazine. And that is only because they publish uh, articles that are related to business and marketing. As a digital marketing agency, that matches our industry. Plus, it was an opportunity to show businesses in Singapore and the world who we are and what we are capable of. That covered the second thing to consider, target audience. Make sure that you're contributing to a site that has a target audience that is interested in your business, your products and services. Another thing to consider is to make sure that they have an engaged readership. Check out their website and social media. See if their audience is commenting on their websites and on social media. See that they are active on social media too. Are they sharing the articles? Are they engaging their audience? And if possible, also check if their site has high authority. Here's the second step. When a well-known online magazine or website knocks on your door and asks you to write a guest blog post, like the case I mentioned earlier, you grab it. Another way to find guest post opportunity is to search on Google to find sites that accept guest posts. For example, if you're in the health and wellness niche and you have narrowed down to focus on meditation, then you might do a Google search with the keywords meditation guest posts. Here we see search results of such a search and you get a search result of pages of sites that are open to guest postings. You can write to each of them and offer to write an article for them and see how it goes. Another option is to approach famous sites or bloggers within your niche. I'm sure you know some famous sites and bloggers in your niche. After all, if you're blogging about something you're interested in, you would, you would have looked them up before. Wouldn't you? Right? So now that you know who they are, you can also write to them. Offer to write an article for them. In the third step, these are things you need to look out for. Again, make sure that the site or blog you are approaching is related to your niche and industry. The best is that the site has good authority and this will give you a high quality backlink. Before you write to the site or blog, do some homework. Read the terms and conditions they have. If a site or blog does not offer you any backlink, you might reconsider writing to them. And if they are suitable, follow all the guidelines, terms and conditions. Also, follow how they would like, to, like you to reach out to them. Uh, some sites like you to pitch an idea for an article. Some prefer you to write in a certain format. Uh, so understand all that. Go through all the guidelines, terms and conditions and follow them. As I mentioned before, guest posting does work for SEO. 
With the backlink earn, it can help your web pages increase in search ranking. Just make sure you follow the three steps that I mentioned earlier. Step 1. What to consider before doing guest posting. Step 2. Which sites to do guest posting for. And step 3. Things to watch out for. And of course, naturally, you need to write the article too. Do you have any questions about guest posting? Let me know in the comments below. And again, remember to subscribe and click the notification button to receive updates whenever I publish a new video. Consumers' attention span is decreasing every day. So are their ability for retention. Many do not like to spend more than a few minutes reading an article. They don't like, especially they don't like to see a lot of text. They prefer visuals. Visual content includes stuff like videos, infographics, GIFs, memes, and more. Using these can help you get ranked higher on image search results. Sometimes even on the default search results too. And you can also, it can also help you reach new audiences. Today, when you do a search on Google, you may actually find the answers on the search results page itself. This is what zero-click search is all about. It is when your query is answered on the search result page, and you do not need to do you know you don't need to do any further clicks to complete your search to get the answers you're looking for or the information you're looking for. A study by Rand Fiskin. Founder of SparkToro found that 50% of Google searches end on search results page. This means that you are getting less traffic to your website. As, as such, you need to consider other options. And one of the options is to do visual marketing. Moss reported that a third of all Google searches are for an image. So the good news is that more and more people are searching using images. In the latest Google update called MUM, Google will better understand not only written text but also videos, images, and podcasts. All this is thanks to AI technology. From this, you can tell that the direction Google is moving towards. And soon, so will many other search engines. They will follow Google and search in the future will be more about using images to do it. As such, it is important to do visual marketing for SEO. One of the visual content that you can use for off-page SEO is images. It is also ideal for on-page SEO, which I shared about, you know, image SEO on, uh, as one of your on-page SEO techniques in a previous video. So if you'd like to find out more about this on-page technique, go watch the video or click this card above. Continuing off-page SEO, one of the ideas of using images and graphics as one of your off-page SEO efforts is to create images and graphics that people will want to share. It can be shared on social media or even on their own websites. Encourage people to share your images and graphics on social media. To do so, your image or graphic must have unique and interesting information that makes people want to share. When a site adds your image or graphic to their web page, it becomes a backlink. When it is at a site of good quality and authority, you earn a high quality backlink. Also, when your image or graphic has your logo and website address on it, you create awareness of your site and brand. Plus, if that site that uses the image that adds your image mention your brand and website on their web page, you also gain awareness. And this can lead to traffic from that site to your website. Also, you may have won a new audience. Another visual content that can help you with SEO is video. Create, optimize, and publish videos on platforms like YouTube. YouTube is the second largest search engine on the internet. Having videos there can help with your SEO efforts. For example, a search with the keywords, how to train my dog to stop barking at everything. Notice the YouTube videos that are on the first page of search results. 
To add on to your off-page SEO efforts, you can add links back to your website in your video descriptions and on your YouTube channel. As your videos become more popular and get more likes and views, clicks from your videos and your YouTube channel will boost traffic to your website. All the backlinks and increased traffic to your website can help it to get ranked higher on search results. So, start doing better and good quality graphics that people want to share. For example, an infographic, chart or graph with useful information. Also, start creating videos and publish them on YouTube. All these will help your website rank higher, even on first page. Do you have any questions about visual marketing and using it for off-page SEO? Let me know in the comments below. I will continue to share tips and ideas on how to do digital marketing for your business. Remember to subscribe and click, to uh, click the notification button to receive updates whenever I publish a new video. Most websites have out outbound links to other web pages. At times, for some reason or other, the web page no longer exists. This can result in a broken or dead link, which is not good for the website that is linking to it. This is an opportunity for you to build a backlink. This is because nobody wants dead links on their website. Even I, do not want to have that on my websites. As such, you can contact the owners or webmasters of these websites and offer your web page to link back to. One of the easiest ways to find broken links is to use an add-on or extension to your browser. For Chrome, you can use the Check My Links extension. I use Edge browser, so I am using the broken link checker extension that I have added to my Edge browser. It is so easy to use. I simply visit a website, click on the broken link check, and then and I will find out if that page has any broken links. There is also the option to search on all the pages of that website. There are many online tools to find such sites with broken links. For example, there's Arefs, Screaming Frog, Dead Link Check, and Wikigrabber. Wikigrabber is the one that helps you find Wikipedia pages that need dead or broken link replacements. I will discuss more about these tools in future videos. So remember to subscribe to get updated whenever I publish a new video. After you find the broken link on a site, on a site, you do outreach with, uh, emails. You can write to the webmaster of the website and mention that you noticed a broken link on their website. Then offer a link to your web page as a replacement for that broken link. This means you must have already, you know, a web page ready for them to link back to. Alternatively, some people actually create a blog post as a replacement for that broken link. When you are doing this technique, here are a few additional points to note. Make sure the website you are targeting must be related to your niche and industry. Google and other search engines will see this as a quality backlink. Also, the site that is giving you the backlink must be a reputable website with good level of authority. Do you have any questions about this off-pitch SEO techniques that work? Broken link opportunity that is? Let me know in the comments below. For more videos about business, marketing and make money online, remember to subscribe and hit the notification button to get updated whenever I publish a new video. Another way to gain higher ranking and traffic is to comment on other blog posts or articles. Find quality sites and leave a comment on their blog. 
At the same time, when possible, leave a link to your website. As you can see, the main goal here is to get a backlink. Backlink are an SEO ranking factor. When you have many quality backlinks, it does help you push your search ranking higher on search results pages. Don't just go around and comment on any site. You need to make sure that you're commenting on the right ones that will send quality links and traffic to your website. So you need to do searches to look for good quality sites. When you find a suitable site, browse around the site. Check that it has good quality content. And preferably, the blog posts there have high engagement too. One of the things to consider first is those factors impacting the quality of a link prior to commenting on any blog. If not considered, you'll be, you know, you discover you've been generating spam links instead of quality links. And the consequences of that is a severe penalty by Google, which, is, which can be, for example, page rank downgrade. Uh, once you find a good quality site, you need to check a few things. First would be to check the recency of their blog posts. That means how recent have they been blogging. Google loves fresh content. So it's better to engage on a blog post that has been published recently. Always read the blog post and article first. Then, after understanding the topic, write a meaningful comment that shares your view on that topic. You have an opinion, so share it. Write about two to three paragraphs of text you know, for the comment. Be relevant, descriptive, and yet concise. This can grab the attention from the blog's readers. Do note that part of the reasons search engines stop following comments is because people abuse this ranking factor. They do it by posting tons of spam comments on blogs. And usually with low quality comments like great post or well done. So don't do this. Comment with the mindset that you are keen to engage with the author of the blog post. Remember, write relevant and quality comments. Many blogs allow you to leave a link to your website. So when you leave an engaging comment, uh, readers may click on your link and this drives traffic to your website. It doesn't hurt that this link can also be a backlink. While it, while it is well known that Google has stopped following comment links to minimize spam, and yet there seems to be some secret that Google has where quality comments do seem to matter and those who do commenting the right way seem to be rewarded. I have personally learned this from experience. So why not give it a try? In addition, leaving your brand and link to your site can create more awareness of your business. People who read your comments and like it may actually click on the link and visit your website. So that is new traffic to your website. Also, there are other search engines that still count links in blog comments as a backlink. So this is worth a thought there. Do you have any questions about this video, about off-page SEO techniques that work, specifically blog commenting for today? Let me know in the comments below. For more videos about business, marketing, and make money online, remember to subscribe and hit the notification button to get updated whenever I publish a new video. An influencer is someone who is usually an expert in a particular field. This person would have people following him or her. These people usually, you know, the followers usually trust this influencer. As such, when the influencer endorses a product or service, it carries a considerable, um, a considerable amount of weight. In a study by Social Publi, they found that more than 9 out of 10 marketers today have 
influencer marketing as part of their overall marketing strategy. As you can see, these marketers have found that influencers can help their brands. An influencer can help increase brand awareness, build brand trust, improve customer relationships, enhance your brand equity, and most relevant to today's topic, it can even improve the SEO for your web pages. When an influencer shares info about your brand, it can be an opportunity for link building. More quality backlinks can lead to higher search rankings for your web pages. The influencer's endorsement, sharing about your brand and higher search rankings can send more traffic to your website. This can add authority to your brand. Plus, this can also, because of all the traffic, it can increase sales and revenue. It's always a good idea, it's always a good idea to research different types of influencers you are interested in to have for your brand. Types of influencers can be such as industry experts, thought leaders, micro-influencers, bloggers, etc. These days, most of the influencers' marketing is done on social media. So, you might like to consider that. After you have decided on the type of influencer for your brand, you need to make sure that you find an influencer who is in your niche or market. For example, if you are in the health niche, then you should find an influencer in the, in the health niche. Take your time to study the marketplace and put yourself in the place of your target audience. Who are your prospects following and interacting with on social media? What, po what podcasts are they listening to? Which blogs in your niche are ranking the highest for your targeted keywords? Look into all this. The influencers you're looking for are the people who have a shared enthusiasm for your niche and your message. Make sure their values align with your brand. For example, does the influencer's personality match your brand's image and tone of voice? They should, of course, be similar. Then check their content. Look at the content and see is most of it created by the influencer or are a lot of it sponsored posts? When there are too many sponsored posts, it's kind of not a good sign. It can mean that you know it can lead to lower trust from the consumers. Also check the activity from their followers. Is there good engagement? Um, what kind of responses do the influencers give to you know those people who engage them? Uh, what other brands have they previous relationship with? Basically, find an authentic influencer who has a good number of audience with credibility and loyal fans. Once you have chosen your influencer, you can then reach out to him or her. Um, do remember... <laughs> Sorry about that. Do remember that influencers are continually approached by many different marketers. Don't try to reach out until you know exactly what your message is, what uh, you are trying to accomplish, and what you have to offer the influencer in return. Influencers will expect to have something in it for them if they agree to advocate for you to their audience. So it is important to have your strategy ready before you even reach out to them. Well, you can start first by fostering a relationship with your target influencer, get to know him or her. Uh, then relationships and real connections are at the core of outreach marketing. So this is always a good place to start. And you can always start small, uh, begin by engaging them on their social media posts, like I said, you know, showing them a genuine interest in who they are and what they do. Uh, you can start by showing respect for them, for the work they do. And then when it comes to offering them a formal partnership, it will be a lot easier because it comes from an existing connection. If after you engage with them and you have not heard back from them, uh, say within five to seven days, then you can consider to follow up with them. Tell them why they stood up to you and why you would value working with them. Um, you can also present them uh, your partnership idea, but leave it open-ended. 
you know this is to allow them to also share their ideas with you um, you can send one or two follow-up messages but then you know leave it you know rather I'd rather leave it if you don't hear back from them because you know it will seem too desperate if you follow up too much when you get an influencer ready to work with you that's awesome and that's when you start to share your ideas and always remember at the same time give the influencer space to be creative You may be wondering how influencer marketing outreach can be an off-page SEO technique that works, right? As mentioned earlier, uh, you can get quality backlinks, right? Uh, the quality of your link profile has a huge impact on your search engine ranking. So you need to earn links from high authority domains relevant to your site. Working with influencers is a great chance to generate better natural backlinks for your website. This further improves your site's ranking. When these influencers create content and link to you, this generates a high quality backlink for your site. The influencer sharing your link also increases your chances of having other people to share the link. Yeah, because their, their, their followers might do that too. Besides looking at the content quality, keyword usage, and content readability, Google also looks at the quality and uh, quantity of social shares. Influencer marketing puts you in touch with individuals whose sole purpose is to produce captivating, shareable content. Influencers also encourage your target audience to create their own content with a branded hashtag unique to your business. With engagement and traffic being the fifth most important ranking factor, the more you engage your audience, the higher your traffic will be. These you know, higher traffic, more engagement can result in your site and pages ranking higher on search results. Do you have any questions about this video, about doing influencer marketing outreach as part of your off-page SEO techniques? Let me know in the comments below. For more videos about business, marketing, and making money online, remember to subscribe and hit the notification button to get updated whenever I publish a new video. Have you heard of Quora? It's one of those sites where people can ask questions and get answers from anyone. Hence the term question and answer sites. You can get quality backlinks when you use question and answer sites. How you do it? What you need to do is go to any question and answer site, for example, Quora. Then find the category that is within your business niche. Look for questions that you can give quality answers, helpful answers. Then submit the answer. At the same time, you can subtly add a link to your website within your answer, and that becomes a backlink. Here's an example. Someone asked the question, what's your most unforgettable travel experience? I answered the question, and as you can see, I added a link to one of my blog posts that's titled, Best Places to Visit in Bhutan. That's my travel blog. And with that answer and link, I have earned a quality backlink from Quora. Sometimes I will leave a signature block at the end of the answer and the signature block has a link to the website. So that is another opportunity to add a link to my websites, thereby creating more backlinks. Make sure that you find question and answer sites that are related to your website and business or at least categories that are related. When you provide answers, give full and complete information. Also, make it value, make your answers valuable and helpful. Uh, and know that besides Quora, there are many other questions and answer sites. A few examples are answers.com, ask.com, Yahoo Answers. Find the ones that are related to the topic on your website. Find questions where you have the right quality and helpful answer, then give the information.
Besides getting back links, having links on question and answer sites can increase brand awareness and improve trust and authority. When readers click on the links, they are brought to your website, and in this case, my websites. As such, doing this off-page SEO technique can drive traffic to my websites. Do you have any questions about this video? Question about uh, question and answer sites as part of your off-page SEO techniques? Let me know in the comments below. For more videos about business, marketing, and making money online, remember to subscribe and hit the notification button to get updated whenever I publish a new video. Podcasts are great for building brand exposure and as a result, builds brand awareness. It's an audio clip of a recording and in that recording, you speak about a certain topic or you could have a conversation with a guest speaker about a certain topic. You can share your podcast on platforms like Buzz, Sprout, Spotify, SoundCloud and many more. These platforms have millions of active users who engage with them every day. As such, when you publish podcasts, you have the opportunity to earn a new audience. You can connect with your target audience here. Again, this can drive traffic to your website. As such, podcasting can be a huge driver of organic growth. Podcasts are also a great way for link building. Firstly, you need to create quality content. You can do so by creating entertaining or interesting podcasts, the ones that people really get value out of it. And when people enjoy your podcast, they will share them. For the purpose of SEO, you will need to create dedicated landing pages on your site for each of your episodes. This creates more content for search engine bots to crawl and index and you know and possibly you can get those web uh, those pages ranked high too on top of this your audience can link to these dedicated landing pages on your site and that can be backlinks another way to earn backlinks is when you have guests appearing on your podcast you can encourage your guests to promote their appearance on your show through their own social media, social channels, or even on their website. And there you go, there's another backlink opportunity. <laughs> Just like the previous episode where we talked about question and answer sites, podcasts can also increase brand awareness and improve trust and authority. As mentioned earlier, you can gain a new audience from the platforms where you host and share your podcasts. This can increase traffic to your website. And increased traffic is another signal to search engines that your site matters. As a result, your web page or website ranking can go up higher. Do you have any questions about this video? You know, about what we talked today about podcasts as part of your off-page SEO techniques? Let me know in the comments below. For more videos about business, marketing and making money online, remember to subscribe and hit the notification button to get updated whenever I publish a new video. A press release is a written communication about an event, a product, or any important happening at the business. Press release submission is when you submit a press release to press release sites. After you've submitted the press release, it can be found by the media. When the online media picks up on the press release, there is a chance for your website to get a very high quality backlink. That is when the media shares the link to your website. At the same time, the media exposure can bring you lots of traffic to your website. 
People who read the press release and are interested will visit your website. This increase in traffic is an indicator to search engines that your website is of interest. Also, when they share your content on, your, on their social media or link it on their own websites, you will again get quality backlinks. All that can help to increase the ranking of your website. Visit press release sites that allow you to submit press releases. Look around the site and see that the press release site matches your brand image and reputation. When it does, create an account. You will need to verify the created account, then submit your press release. The press re your press release will need to have a headline, summary, keywords, contact information, and any other details the press release site requires. Your press release will be subject to the site's approval. After approval, it will be published. And that's it. Besides getting backlinks for SEO, press release submissions are good for your brand. It is an opportunity to get valuable mention of your brand. This is another factor that search engines favor. Plus, the long-term benefit of creating brand awareness brand exposure, online visibility, image and reputation. Do you have any questions about this video about doing press release submission as part of your off-page SEO techniques? Let me know in the comments below. For more videos about business, marketing and making money online, remember to subscribe and hit the notification button to get updated whenever I publish a new video. Brands promote on social media using content they created. For example, a brand promoting a new product might post on social media an article or product page. The article could be an information page to educate consumers about their product. Or it could be a product page where people can see the product's attributes and even make a purchase there and then. When the brand shares such content on social media, they are actually creating awareness of the brand or product. Social media users see the post and visit the link to the page. They read or sometimes watch, if it's a video, information about the brand or product. And if they like what they find, the users respond and they like, share or comment on the post and the content shared. During this journey, there are a few things happening that will benefit your SEO efforts. One of the first things that happen is social signals. While Google claims that social signals do not matter, the thing is, it does in an indirect way. When users visit your web page, this is an increase in traffic to your website. That is a factor that Google and other search engines notice. When traffic increases, the search engine notices it. They see it as users are interested in the content that, and that it has value. And when many users like, share and comment on the blog post, search engines see it as high engagement. Social media posts with high engagement rates can do well on search engines. This is because um, it is seen that the post is popular with the users. As such, the post can get indexed and even appear on the first page of search results. This can result in your page or domain getting higher value and as such earning high authority. Another benefit of social media marketing is that you can get more quality links. Some users may find that your content is interesting or helpful and they share it with others. Some may even share, it, share the link to your content page on their own websites. All these can lead in getting more quality backlinks. And as we all know, backlinks are definitely one of the major ranking factors. As such, this can result in higher search ranking for your web page or website.
First, you have to decide and choose which social media platform to be on. It's alright to have a presence in all of the social networks, but if your team is small and it's only you doing or it's only you doing the work, then just pick one or two that perform better for you. And don't just create a social media account. Be active on it. Share quality content. Engage with your fans and followers. Some ways of engaging your, your audience is to reply to their comments within 24 hours, uh, if possible, even immediately. Or you can get your customer support on the job and respond to all the questions, feedback, complaints, or compliments as soon as possible. As you can see, social media marketing indirectly helps your web pages or website to get ranked higher. So it's worthwhile to do it. But don't just dive in without any planning. You must plan what to do and when to post and at the same time maintain high quality content. Also remember to engage your audience. Do you have any questions about this video? About doing social media marketing as part of your off-page SEO techniques? Let me know in the comments below. For more videos about business, marketing and making money online, remember to subscribe and hit the no notification button to get updated whenever I publish a new video. I wish you immense wealth and success.